snowed? Okay, so as we go through the um, wonderful Ilium here, remember this one has the villi, move your way around. You can be rounded projections coming off. And you might think, well, it looks like yes, it's like opening. What's your direction? Oh, I know. This is where it gets all confusing. We have more of those nodes right there. And come around. So that's one. Okay, let me get to a place where we can kind of see all the things, and we'll go through the layers again. Okay, so on this one, we still have our um, three major layers, which is the shortest one. So we go to, we go from the top of the villi all the way down to, what was this? Always the bottom of the layer, Muscularis, Mucosa layer. Um, again, the uh, villi would be the, would be the entire round of projections in the pointer. Um, otherwise, it would be pointing to the surrounding edge that goes around this, which would be the simple columnar with some goblet cells, and I'll show you those on the higher magnification. Everything that's within the villi and then comes down in here, what would that be? Mm -hmm. The lamina propria, because remember the cell layers right here and below that would be the lamina propria. And then all of these circles in here are going to be the nope. intestinal cells, intestinal glands, okay, down in there. So all of these circles down here. And then again our muscular mucosa. What's this? Submucosa. Submucosa. So before we go on to the um, muscular external and, and make the navigation bigger. So we have 
have two types. Once again, we have circular and longitudinal. Um, not as really easy to tell the difference between this and the, and the esophagus when we did that, but it's always going to be circular toward the inside and longitudinal toward the outside. So if we start up here, tell me when we get to longitudinal. Okay. okay, so this is our kind of separation point. So this will be all circular, this will be all longitudinal. And you can kind of, when you said to stop, there's like a, uh, a good, clear separation. In the colon, we're going to have a ganglion, so the ganglion of my enteric plexus that controls the um, digestive process. It's also in here, you just can't see it very clearly. So that's why we save it for the colon. But it's always between the muscle layers. So which one is this again? Circular and longitudinal. Part of the muscular And then again for the serosa, you barely see it. It's another very uh, light layer is on the outside. All of that. Stick right up against that left layer. And again, if you look at the um, Again, um, some people kind of, and it does look like, wasn't that lumen appropriate? But it's a more densely compact section. So you can see here, this is the uh, lumen appropriate section, and there's lots of space in between these. These are more packed together uh, sections there. So those are what we're going to call the lymph nodules, so tissue that's compacted together in those areas. And if I go back out to that one, um, and you look at the villi uh, again, so you can kind of see clear circles. Those again are the goblet cells in the um, simple right here. 